There's no way you can eat this and not be satisfied. It's virtually impossible. The amount of calories and the protein that you're getting out of this. Welcome back to the Anabolic Hub where we make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today and we're doing, I guess what you could call an inspiration recipe because we're doing a French toast recipe, so I think we've got to give credit where credit is due, even now, even though everybody knows. Thank you, Coach Greg Doucette, for giving us the anabolic French toast. Today, I am putting my spin on it by doing a chocolate strawberry anabolic French toast absolute deliciousness of a recipe. If you guys are looking to change up your French toast, have it a little bit different, if you've been loving the chocolate recipes that have been coming out, if you're a big chocolate person, this is gonna be how you're gonna wanna start having your French toast starting today. Ton of strawberries, adding very little calories, lots of volume, gonna make you feel full. This is gonna be ideal for any weight loss plan, any main gaining plan, and certainly any shredding plan. So, with no further ado, let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. Egg whites, chocolate-based whey protein powder, ground cinnamon, swerve, Granular vanilla extract, regular ass bread, sugar-free chocolate syrup, and of course, strawberries. And as with any French toast, our first step is to get started with the base. And of course, what we're going to be starting with here is going to be 207 grams of, you guessed it, our egg whites. Whew, always tedious to get the egg whites to the gram, but I did it, 207 grams on the money. Next, we need half a serving, which in my case is going to be 16 grams of your chocolate-based whey protein powder. So all of you who say I never use whey protein powder in any of my recipes, you're wrong. Using it here, 16 grams, going in. Then we need five grams of our ground cinnamon. Next, we're going to put in 7 grams of our Swerve Granular, but you can use any zero-calorie sweetener that you want. I happen to prefer Swerve. I think it tastes the best. But if you want to use Splenda, if you want to use any Stevia, whatever it is you want to use, just got to use 7 grams of it. And the last ingredient in our base is going to be 5 grams of the vanilla extract. Also, much like the egg whites, very hard to pour to the gram. So, any new subscribers out there that maybe haven't seen any previous videos, what you want to do is take a toothpick, poke a hole in your brand new vanilla extract. It's going to be much easier to measure out accurately. That's it. And of course, five grams on the money. Once you have all your base ingredients in there, the next step is to mix it all up. And once you've mixed up your base as much as you can so that all the ingredients are well incorporated, you've scraped down the sides, you make sure you have all of your anabolic deliciousness that's supposed to be in here, well mixed together, you're ready to go on to the next step, which is putting in our bread to absorb all of this deliciousness. So we are using four slices of regular ass bread here. I did measure it out. So if you look at the macros at the end, it is going to be for 150 grams of the bread going into our base. Gonna let this absorb for a couple minutes. We wanna make sure we get as much of the goodness, hopefully all all of the goodness into our four slices. And if you're as impatient like me and you can't stand it, just do one slice at a time, but then you figure out that not all the liquid can get to all the pieces of toast that you put in there or bread, what you have to do, once all four slices are in there, just kind of swish it around a little bit, make sure all those pieces of bread get a little bit of loving absorb a little bit there, and then you just gotta be patient. Let it sit, let it absorb. While we're doing that, we're gonna head on over to the pan, spray it down with some nonstick, give these one more flip, put the pan on medium heat, cook this up, and then we add our topping. Just gonna break in here real quick to remind you to smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed, and what is your favorite way to have anabolic French toast? Do you just do the original? Do you add fruit, protein powder? How do you do it? Chocolate syrup? Maple syrup? Let's talk about anabolic French toast in the comment section. All right, let's get back to the video. While our French toast is finishing up the absorption process, <laughs> we're gonna spray down our pan here with some nonstick cooking spray and put it over medium heat just in time to get it on here and start cooking. High capacity nonstick cooking spray loaded. Fire away. Firing it up. And we'll let this pan heat up for a few seconds and then we'll start cooking our French toast. 
And as with all of my French toast recipes, I always like more egg whites than last time, so we're gonna take the rest of this chocolatey egg whitey goodness and pour it over our slices of bread. One side's been cooking for a little bit, now it's time to give these a flip. I'm gonna let this second side cook up for a couple more minutes, put it on a plate, add the topping, and then we're going over to the taste test table. So as we know, there's many ways that you can assemble your French toast. If you just want to throw it all on a plate, throw your topping on top of all four slices spread out, you can do that. I'm going to be a little bit more fancy and we're going to go through a very simple but very nice looking stacking process. We're going to take one slice of our French toast, which is still a little warm, so you got to do it quick. You're going to take some of your strawberries. We're using 175 grams of the strawberries, by the way. And we're gonna layer them on just like so. It's a lot of strawberries. And then you're going to be using roughly two servings of your sugar-free chocolate syrup. I like to put it on each layer so you're guaranteed to have some of it in every single bite. We're gonna just drizzle a little bit on here. Take your next slice, put it right on top, and we repeat. And we're done. Let's get this over to the taste test table. <laughs> we're back at the taste test table again here to try another spin on the Coach Greg Doucette inspired anabolic French toast. Chocolate strawberry anabolic French toast. Oh my goodness. Insert that anabolic word wherever you want because this is some anabolic deliciousness like you've never seen or tasted before. As it is right now, it is absolutely delicious. I can tell you that. I've had it before. This is going to be a chocolatey, fruity, satisfying, high protein, gonna keep you full to the next meal, maybe for the rest of the day if you so choose. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. It's that satisfying. You can just have it as it is right now, or you can add in some sugar-free syrup. If you want to be a savage and do that, you certainly can. I know I'm gonna because I like my French toast even sweeter than last time. So we're gonna add a little bit of this on top and then we're gonna get to our taste test. Just a drizzle. Don't need a lot. Trust me, it's sweet enough already. We are ready to dive into our stack of chocolate strawberry anabolic French toast. So with no further ado, let's take a bite right down the side. It's probably all gonna collapse. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Here we go. First bite, best bite, don't care what you say, that's the truth. Stacks fight me a little bit. <laughs> gonna try to get a little bit of everything in there. It's gonna drip on the table, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Look at that deliciousness, strawberry chocolate, you can even see the maple syrup in there. Here we go, trying it out. So, Freaking good. This is a mountain of food here. The chocolatey flavor hits you right away. The amount of volume that's in this French toast right here, strawberries spilling out all over the sides, layered on each slice of your French toast. There's no way you can eat this and not be satisfied. It's virtually impossible. The amount of calories and the protein that you're getting out of this, you're gonna love it. And we'll get a little bit here. It doesn't have any syrup on it. Just a little bit of the chocolate and the strawberry. We'll see how it is without the syrup. Hmm. Shocking, it's still good. This is a great alternative to your regular French toast. Even if you've been having it any other way, mixing it up with something like strawberries and chocolate syrup adds a whole different element, whole new flavor palette. Gonna give you another option. The last thing we want is our French toast to get old. Changing it up, using different fruit, using fruit at all, adding in some chocolate sauce, adding in some chocolate protein. It's gonna up the protein count, make you more satiated, allow you to get to that next meal, stick to your calorie goal, stick to your protein goal, Get you where you want to be just in time for summer shredding season. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna knock the stack right down here. Ooh. Look at all that. Adding in that chocolate whey protein powder not only gives you a little bit more of a chocolate flavor, but also of course ups your protein count. Adding something in simple like that for flavor and for protein can be a difference maker, total difference maker. On a side note, totally unrelated to this recipe, 
How about Ethan Harold giving it to Remington James in that video, huh? It's like 30 plus minutes of just going at him for doing too many recipes, not being original, seeming like he's not putting the time in. I mean, he did it in the most respectful way that you possibly could, and I think it's a message that a lot of us were thinking in our heads but didn't make a video about or say anything in the comment section. As I'm sitting there watching Ethan's video, all I'm thinking is Remington sitting there at his computer watching it and just seething. It reminded me of the scene in Goodfellas when Spider tells Tommy to go himself. <laughs> Remember the way Tommy was looking at Spider after he said that? Then he got the narrow over there going, Oh! You gonna let him get away with that? You gonna let this punk get away with that? That's what I feel like if Ank was there, he's saying that to Rem, and he's just seething. Man, those are some fighting words, but, you know, it was done in a very respectful way. I just don't know if it has been well received, but who knows? We'll see. Rem's channel still pumping out the videos. We'll see if he makes any changes, but I digress. Back to here, this is a delicious way to enjoy your anabolic French toast. I'm gonna flash up the macros right here so we can see 40 plus grams of protein in this recipe, 533 calories if you made it exactly the way I did. A no-brainer way to change up your French toast. If you guys try this, Please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know how it turned out for you. And let's talk about French toast. You guys having it every day still? Do you have it less in the summertime? Do you have something different? What are we doing for breakfasts? Or are we just all in on the French toast all year round? Anyway, it's gonna be about that time. I gotta get up out of here. Probably gonna finish this off camera somewhere else. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.